Hello, my name is Emil, you're watching Marvel, and today we're going to take a look at an, an experiment, more than anything, quite, the code's quite messy, in writing a mod pack auto updater and launcher. Now, um, so the rendering here is just a stripped down version of my game engine. I just copied it uh, over, got uh, IMGUI working, and then that's getting uh, rendered in here. And uh, that's what you will kind of see uh, once we, uh, down here. Yeah, so here's all the IMGI stuff. Now, um, on top of that, I am using a, a CML, so it's like a Minecraft launcher library, as well as Discord switch presence. And uh, so when we start up, we start off by creating a Discord switch presence client and um, you know, setting the RPC, uh, the rich present, and then um, we get the username. And right now I'm using that in offline mode because I'm just testing. Um, I'll add proper authentication uh, once I'm done testing. I don't want to constantly um, send requests to my Yang's API, you know, <laughs> while I'm debugging and testing and so on. Um, and then we have a down here. So here we're just rendering the frame and that this import code is not being used right now. I don't, oh no, it is, it is. Right, so on the event that we are hitting the play button, we will connect up to the FTP server and I remove the sensitive details. Get a file with the latest version. It's just a simple text slug. That text slug then uh, is used to, to check whether it's in here, which right now it's V002. Um, and if so, it will, if it does not exist, it will get imported. Otherwise we'll run, right? Afterwards we'll run in any case. So looking at the import code, we are checking um, whether the zip is there, right? Whether if it does, it's not there, we'll download it. Um, and um, that's kind of what, it will just download the zip and then extract it. Then to run it, we use this launcher library. Um, and then I directly hook you up to our multiplayer server. And like I said, right now it's just for testing. And then this is where Java is. Now, if it's not Linux, if it's Windows, it will auto download the Java, right? And then after that, I just spin up the process to run Minecraft and it will install Forge. We do use mods. Um, so yeah, um, and and um, yeah, it's, it's real simple. It's fun. It's just an easy one because for our custom mod pack to easily update on my friend's computer. Obviously I need to clean this up, add a proper GUI and test it and make it easy way to release new patches as well as um, add the, the online mode. But all in all, it was just a fun and interesting project. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.